All right, this is our tutorial on how to make your email a little safer with some encryption, otherwise known as GPG. First thing we need is we need the latest version of Firefox. So we're going to go to firefox.com. Right there, it's 3.6. Click this link. And just save that right to the desktop. Okay, and as that's downloading, we also are going to need to grab GPG for Win. So we can go ahead and go to Google. And GPG for Win. And then the first link. Okay, and then under this download, right there, we don't need the RC1. We're actually going to be using this second link here. Download this to the desktop as well. Actually, that's going to take a little bit, so I'm going to pause the video and be back when it's done. All right, so those are done. I'm going to go to the desktop and pull those up. I want to install Firefox here. This so one's a pretty quick install compared to the GPG. That one takes a little bit longer. And you can just click next. You don't need to worry about the options. Alright, that's done. And then you want to install GPG for Win next. You don't actually need to boot up Firefox. We'll do that in a second. That's almost done. As you can see, it has its own folder and program files called GNU, if you have to look for it later. All right, good, so that's been taken care of. Now you're gonna to wanna to load up Firefox. Don't really need to import anything if this is your first time. Alright, so we got Firefox. Now on Firefox, you can use Google and go to Fire GPG. That's the last program we're gonna need for this. Let's go ahead and go to that first link on Google. And there's an install button at the top. I'm going to download that. Be a little link up. You want to click allow. Wait for this install. Then just allow that to go through. That actually makes changes in your Firefox. So let's restart it. And you'll see it's done. Uh, the first time pop up, you just have to click next and yes. Right, and if this comes up, it says it's um, in a uncommon location. You want to browse, and we're going to go to since we're on seven. We want to go to C, Program Files, look for GNU, GNU PG. And scroll down to GPG two, and then open. That's going to be okay. Then hit next. We don't need any of this yet, not until we're done, so we can close that for now. Also, we can minimize Firefox. We want to load up GPG for Win. So, no, we don't need this. Let's go into all programs. GPG for Win, GPA. Wait a couple seconds and the program's gonna boot up. So, it's going to give you this prompt to create a private key, if this is your first time. If not, we can go up to keys. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, generate the key now. Your name. This is for your digital signature. For this thing, we're just going to have... The Hacker. Email address. Um, it's going to be a Gmail account. So, I've already set one up here. go forward create a backup copy 
And this is going to be your passphrase. You want to make sure you remember this one. I'm going to set mine as W. T Y thirty three, okay. I want you to do it again. It's gonna generate you your own private key. And then we're backing this up. We're gonna put it on the desktop. So save that file. You can see here. We have our keys made. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to right click this. We're going to export our public key. And just name it pub key or whatever you like. Um, for convenience, saving this to the desktop. That's going to export a uh, text file. So, what we've got to do is we have to log into our Gmail account because you have to have Gmail for this to work. That's the interface that FireGPG uses. So, we're going to go to our Gmail account, as I type this in, log into that, it's going to load up my, my Gmail, compose mail, and then I'm going to send this. David here. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either open up the public key. You just want to use Notepad if it gives you the prompt. And so you can either copy this and paste it into the email, or you can attach file. Browse for it. It's going to be right there on the desktop. Public key. I'll just send it to them both ways. I'm going to send it like that. Yep, don't need a subject. All right, and so I sent that to him. Um, he has actually done the same thing on that computer and sent me his public key. So I'm going to show you what you do after you receive the public key. You can go ahead and just copy all this if you want. But he's also sent it to me as a download. So for my convenience, I'm just going to download and save this to the desktop. And there that goes. We're going to go back into our uh, privacy assistant. We're going to import his key. So we go to desktop, locate that. And here it is, public key. You can see it says red and imported. So we got his public key in there. And he's actually gotten mine as well. So we're going to be all set up. Let's write a letter to him. Hello, this is an... encryption test. What he's going to do is he's going to type the exact same email to me so it shows what it looks like on our screen. So we're going to sign and encrypt that, saying it to him. Subject line test. All right. I'm just going to send that. And now you're going to have this pop up. And for him to read it, we want to encrypt it with his key. So we click OK for his key, and then it's going to set our private key, which we have our name. All right, now the password we set up in the beginning, when I said uh, W on. So type in that password to get it all locked down. And the second password is actually your login for your Gmail account. It happens to be the same. So I can type that in there. All right, and it's been sent. And he's done the same thing on that computer, so we're going to pick up his email. As you see, it looks exactly the same, except for it's him sending it to me. And this is what the message looks like. And as you can see, it's already FireGPG has picked it up and wants me to type in my private key. So I'm going to do that right now to decrypt it. And right there, 
You see the two locks because it's been decrypted and that is how Fire GPG works. This is our tutorial for Security Plus coming to you from Rob, David, Jose, and Mike. Hope you learned something useful and evaluate us fairly.